Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for question and answer session. And here, uh, do you know the, uh, the solve uh, of the question? That means question solve is one of the best way to uh, carry out a better marks in MRCS exam. And here the question for any question, first of all, uh, you should read very carefully the question. Here the question, a well-toned weightlifter attend clinic reporting weakness of his arm. There is weakness of flexion and subination of the forearm. Which of the following nerve is likely to have been affected? So here, first of all, we can see a well-toned weightlifter attend clinic reporting weakness of the left arm with weakness of the flexion and weakness of the supination of the form which nerve is responsible for this so first of all we have to find out the muscle which is responsible for elbow flexion and supination of the forearm and uh, here the flexion of the forearm and supination of the forearm then it will be very easy for us to find out the nerve which supplies the muscle here the options the options are axillary nerve supra scapular nerve median nerve uh, radial nerve and musculocutaneous nerve so for we have to find out one of the nerve whose nerve supplies the muscles that muscles is responsible for the flexion of the forearm and uh, who is participate in supination of the forearm so here we can see this is the flexion of the forearm here the forearm bones here the radius and ulna and the humerus when the uh, it come closer it is flexion uh, so we have to find out the uh, muscle who is responsible for flexion of this forearm. So here we can see two important muscles which causes flexion that is biceps brachii and brachialis. Here we can see the biceps which arises from the uh, here supraglenoid uh, tubercle and and the coracoid process. And it finally uh, comes to this and uh, it inserts it here the radius and we can see another bone that is uh, another muscle that is brachialis the brachialis it come forward and it also inserted here so this two important muscle is responsible for the flexion of the forearm that means flexion at the elbow joint level so we have to find out the uh, nerve which supplies the biceps brachii and brachialis. So here we can see this is the biceps brachii which is removed from here. This is the two tendon. There is the long head of the biceps uh, that is a supraglenoid tubercle and here the short head and uh, this arises from the coracoid process and it descends and finally attached in the radius. So here the biceps brachii and here the brachialis the brachialis it arises in the middle part of the shaft of the humerus and inserted into this ulna so here we can see the uh, important nerve is going between the biceps brachii and brachio brachialis and this nerve is responsible for the supply of the muscles and this nerve this is the musculocutaneous nerve so musculocutaneous nerve it is a branch from the brachial flexures it supplies these two important muscles that is biceps brachii and brachialis so here we can see the innervation of the musculocutaneous and here the mnemonics uh, we can see bbc bbc b for brachialis b for biceps brachii and c for coraco brachialis so here the musculocutaneous nerve it is a branch of the it is branch from the brachial flexures and this brachial flexures from the brachial flexures musculocutaneous nerve arises and it supplies the here the three important muscles among them two are responsible for elbow flexion that is biceps brachii and brachialis and another important muscle that is this muscle and this is the coraco brachialis so here our final answer is musculocutaneous nerve because musculocutaneous nerve it supplies the flexor muscle of the forearm so our final answer is musculocutaneous nerve thank you all